Today's video is a, a series I'm going to start on shadow boxing for all of us that are at home, these trying times, and you might only just have a bathroom even to shadow box in. Uh, if you don't have it, a bigger space, you can do these drills right in front of your mirror in the bathroom. And what I did is I, for this drill today, I talked about defending and countering the three basic punches the jab, the right hand, and the hook. And I actually got some clips, some raw footage on ways you can counter and defend these punches. And what I started off with, like I said, is the jab, then the right hand, then the hook. And it's this, what these drills do is they develop rhythm, they develop ring IQ, okay? Um, they teach you to have an imagination so like when every time you're throwing a punch you're thinking about the next punch coming back to you, back at you and you're having you're developing your IQ on ways to counter it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the jab okay Start off with the jab. When I throw the jab, like I always talk about, heel toe stance, I throw the jab, one eye down the barrel of the gun, okay? Now, when I throw that jab, and I got one eye down the barrel of the gun, if I don't do it, my jab's gonna be right, if I got my chin straight, my hand's, my, my hand's gonna go here. When I go one eye, it gives me more extension into the punch, okay? What it does is it releases your whole back and your whole lat and your whole shoulder joint into the punch. It's not your shoulder snapping into the punch, but it's extending your whole, your whole back into the shot. So you get more extension. So when you throw that jab, then you slip a jab. First punch you're gonna slip is the jab, okay? So when I slip that jab, two different ways I can do that. Three different ways I can do it actually, okay? So I can throw that jab. James Tony is one of the clips that I have him slipping this jab. And the way James would do it is James would just, um, like he's shoulder rolling a right hand. And that's what made him and guys like Floyd Mayweather so efficient. Because they used the same move for so many different punches coming at them. James would roll a shoulder roll and roll a right hand. He'd do the same thing when the jab would come by. The jab's coming at him and he would just let the jab go right by him and throw the right hand. Okay? So what I did for the drills, I throw the jab. I slip the jab, I throw the right hand and the left hook. For drill purposes, I throw a couple punches, okay? And the clip I have, he just hits Iran Barkley with a beautiful right hand over the top of the jab. So for the drill, we're going jab, slip. When I can, like I said, I can slip it like that, or I can keep the hand up. When I keep the hand up, I can look on the inside of the glove, okay? So the jab would be coming from my face. Now the jab's going right past. I only want to make you miss by an inch, because then I'm going to be there closer to counter, okay? Now if the guy has a longer arm, the third way I can do it, if he's from a further distance and he's further away from me, he throws it, and I could pull him into me, especially if he leans with his jab, I could take a little step back and pull him into me, and then I could step back in. So when I step back, I can step back with the right foot, slide, slide the left foot, just like throwing a football, step back, slide the left, slide back in, throw the football, step back to throw the football, step in to throw the football. So I can do it, and I can do that even a fourth way. I can just step back with the right foot just to get out of the way and then step back in. Or I can step and slide and slide back in. So the footwork looks like this. I'm going this way, like that, or I'm stepping back and coming back in. So going back to the beginning, jab. We could do it like this, right hand. We could just stay in position and, and just keep the hand up, jab. 
right hand, left hook. Now, the next punch that's coming at me is a right hand. I'm gonna weave under the right hand. When I weave under the right hand, I'm gonna weave and go to the body instead of weaving and coming back to the head. Got this clip, this is Mike Tyson doing this. See what he, he would weave, and what he does when he weaves, he weaves underneath the right hand. He, he's got his, he's a little bit more squared off, Mike, okay? But we're gonna do it from the, we're gonna do it from a heel toe stance, okay? Now, when we weave, Right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder. Okay. Now, when we start to weave, it starts to it starts to even out. When we the punch goes underneath, and we get underneath the punch, then we flip flop the trajectory where the left shoulder is lower than the right shoulder, and we throw a left hook to the body. Okay. For drill purposes, we come back with the right hand. Now the guy's going to throw a left hook. When the guy throws the left hook, I weave underneath the left hook, and I flip flop the trajectory again. And I got the right shoulder lower than the left shoulder now. And I throw a right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook to the head. See? So now we did the three punches. Now we're going to go back to the jab and we're going to slip it a different way. So now the guy throws a jab back at me. The jab can go right by me this way and I can come back with a hook and a right hand. Two different ways I can slip that, okay? If I slip it like that and I let it slide right past me this way, I go one eye. Now let it slide past me right there. I'm closer to landing this left hook. Okay, I'm closer to landing this left hook. If I, if I slip the, the jab this way and drop, I'm closer to throwing a body shot. But I can go to the head too. And the pros are going to the head when you go this way. The guy's looking down because he thinks you are going to his body. And then you could come back and throw a left hook to the head. Mike Tyson did that against Carl the Truth Williams. He slipped on the inside of the jab. And then he came back with a left hook to the head, and he slipped it this way. Donald Curry, he slipped it this way, not as, not as deep as Mike Tyson, dipping his low, but he slipped a little bit more this way. It wasn't quite this way. It was like this way. And, and the same thing, Milton McCrory, he was fighting, looked down, and he comes back with a left hook to the head. Okay, so we're slipping on the inside of the jab, whether we do it this way, or we, whether we do it this way, or this way. We're going to slip, we're going to throw a hook right hand. Now from there, another right hand's coming at me. Shoulder roll, okay? And I can hide that right hand behind that shoulder so the guy doesn't see the punch when it's coming back at him, see? So I got this hand here to protect the body. Shoulder rolls here, right hand could be behind the shoulder as I roll that right hand past me, boom, he gets hit with a right hand, gets hit with a left hook, okay? This is James Tony again. James Tony is Slipping a jab and rolling a right hand, the same thing. The, the jab's going by him here, and he's countering over top. He's, cro he's throwing a right cross over top, of the, uh, over top of the jab. When a right hand comes at him, he rolls it off his shoulder and comes back with a right hand. Okay? And I always talk about door open, door close. With what I teach is that you, know, you have your hands in position, and this is like a door hinge. When you shoulder roll, it goes right here. Okay? You can roll it. Your hand comes here, just like a door hinge, it's here, now it goes here, then when you throw it, the door closes again. So it's closed, it's open, you use your shoulder, you roll it and pull the guy into you. Now when you throw the right hand, the door closes again. Now I throw a left hook, okay? I finish it off with another left hook. Now from there, he's gonna throw a hook at me. I can roll here. And when I roll, I don't pick my hand up here. Here comes the hook. I don't pick my hand up here to block it. I make myself small. I make myself small. And I use the hip hinge, and I block it, and I come back with the left hook, and I come back with the right hand. Then I'm going to go right back into the sequence again. The jab comes back at me. I can step back, right hand, left hook, weave underneath, left hook to the body, right hand, weave under the hook, right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook. Slip on the inside of the jab, left hook, right hand, roll with the right hand, right hand, left hook, roll with the hook, hook, right hand, back into it again. I can slip it this way, or I can slip it this way, I can step back, or I can just stay there. If I slip the jab, right hand, left hook, weave underneath the, weave underneath the right hand, right hand's coming, weave underneath the right hand, whether it's a right hook or a straight right hand, I can weave underneath it, left hook to the body, right hand. Weave under the hook, right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook. Okay, slip inside the jab, hook right hand, roll the right hand, right hand, left hook, 
okay? Let's do this. So before I show you guys the flow of the drill, let's do it together. Remember the multiple ways that I told you how you could slip the jab. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our own jab. Then we're gonna slip the jab off of our own jab. Right hand, left hook. Then the guy throws a right hand at us. We're gonna weave underneath the right hand. Hook, right hand. Weave under the left hook. Right hook to the body. Right uppercut, left hook. Okay, now we're gonna slip to the inside of the jab. Hook, right hand. Now we're gonna roll with the right hand. Shoulder roll, right hand. Right hand, left hook. Now the guy throws a hook. Hook, right hand. Back into the drill again. Slip the jab. Right hand, left hook. Weave under the right hand. Right hook to the body, right hand. Weave under the hook. Hook to the body, uppercut, hook. Slip on the inside of the jab. Hook, right hand. Roll the right hand. Right hand, left hook. Roll the hook. Hook, right hand. Back into the drill again. Slip the jab, right hand, left hook. Weave under a right hand, hook to the body, right hand. Weave under a hook, right hook to the body, right uppercut, hook. Slip the jab, hook, right hand. Roll a right hand, right hand, left hook. Roll and block a hook, hook, right hand. Back into the drill again, slip the jab. Slip the jab, slip it this way, slip it this way. Right hand, left hook. Weave under the right hand, hook to the body. Hook to the body, right hand. Weave underneath the left hook. Right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook. Slip in the inside of the jab, hook, right hand. Roll with the right hand, right hand, left hook. Roll with a hook, hook, right hand. Back into the drill. Let's show you the flow and the rhythm of the drill. So when you're throwing these, these punches and you're doing this drill, like I said, you can, you can uh, the footwork, depending upon how much power you want to throw and the kind of punch that you want to throw, it can change. Um, I'm going to have a new instructional coming out and it's, what it's going to be is it's going to be how to throw certain punches from certain angles in different positions, different ways depending upon the position that you're in and the angle you're in, how you get maximum power from that angle and from that position. So that's gonna be a very detailed video as well as the instructions that I have out right now. I broke down in detail every punch and its footwork. And those are for, are for sale right now. Go to the website, uh, www.worldclassboxinggym.com and you can get those videos. And I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be coming out with some more videos uh, over the next few months, and that's going to be one.
left hook thrown by Donald Curry. There, he stepped in with the left hook. Pitcher perfect, right on the chin. So I'm going to continue this series as long as we're all locked up in the house and and uh, like I said, gym is closed right now, but I'm doing a lot of online training on Zoom. Been real busy with that. And like I said, if you guys are interested in that, you can DM me. Uh, the best way to do it is DM me on Instagram at Tommy and Kello Boxing, and I'll see if I can work you guys in. And comment below. Let me know your guys' feedback on what you guys want to see you know when I'm, when I'm working on these shadow boxing drills if there's certain things you can give me some feedback give me some insight that helps always and like i said you guys stay safe out there and i'll see you guys next time